<sighs> All right, today we're gonna go look at the C-Line MD1s, an ESP Buzz, and the Hex Neutron Plastic. And we're gonna go see how they fly. Let's go check it out. This first one, we're looking for just like a 280 foot, maybe flip up or staying at flat for the whole way, low ceiling. You'll see the MD1 um, <clears throat> on hyzer will flip up and fly straight for pretty much the entirety of the way. And it will fade out. Whereas the hex, it also has flip up, but it doesn't, it's not as touchy as the MD1. It won't turn over if you throw it a little harder than about 280. Whereas you'll notice quickly with the buzz um, on hyzer, this thing didn't flip up really at all um, at that distance. It kind of stayed on hyzer um, and flattened out a little and then skipped flat at the end. And then I moved into an even tighter, lower ceiling tunnel shot, trying to get to the very end of it, which is about 310. And you'll see with the MD1 that it does flip up, pushing it a bit harder and start to kind of drift out right um, when you throw it a little over at 300 or over. Whereas the hex, I feel like you can comfortably throw this again on hyzer, close to a 45 degree angle, it flips up and then just carries straight with a really, really light drift, right? And then the buzz will flip up a little, but not really turn up and over and then just swings way out left. And then uh, a few hyzer shots. I went in a low swinging hyzer where I don't want too much of a skip. And so with whichever one of these MD1s I used, I threw it really low, pretty steep. And you see it just flips up a little and holds this hyzer. And only because it's at such a steep angle, it has a really slow fade. Whereas on a steep hyzer, the buzz and the hex both will not really want to flip up, especially low. It's only again, 250 feet. We're gonna test it out a lot further in a second, but at a 200, at under 300 feet, a steep hyzer, it just holds it the whole way and actually does have a pretty tight swing there at the end. And then I did more of a big swinging hyzer. And so we're trying to push about 280 to 290 past it and then swinging out. And so with the MD1, you notice that it does um, flip up a little bit more out of its hyzer and then carries extremely, extremely straight and has very little swing and pretty much just kind of drops dead straight at the end. Whereas Buzz and the Hex both on steeper angles and there's a slight headwind on this. Um, they don't actually flip up and carry straight for too long, but they don't fade very quickly. They push out um, on hyzer and then you'll see them about 70% of the way through their flight start to do a really big sweeping fade. Um, and then I went into a really low 260 foot um, tight little drifting Anheuser shot. And you'll see with the MD1, whichever one I threw, that um, on flat slash a little ante, it will have its drift without much effort behind it. And then the buzz, that one I did need after watching these other throws, I put it on a little more Anheuser, but low again. And it did just hold that line, which is what people I think say the buzz is known for is holding the lines you put it on and it then finished out right. Whereas the hex was going to do that. And then it kind of clipped that branch, which may have taken some momentum off and it still held that Anheuser. But because of the lack of momentum behind it, it just kind of flexed out of that Anheuser angle. And then I did one big Anheuser angle. And so the higher Anheuser angle, you see it gives the MD1 a lot more room to swing out at the end and then like carry for quite a long ways. And then the lower one, even on a tighter lower angle, it did have enough um, stability to still come out and finish flat at the end, but that one was about 260. And the hex, that one again was pretty much on a tight angle and a little wider knowing that at the end of its flight, it being more stable is gonna swing out a bit more. And so I threw it out and then it just swings out and then um, slides to about 280, 285. And the buzz, again, I realized if you don't commit to the angle on these, on the buzz in particular, it will flex out. And then we went into one big open so we could see how they handle a lot of torque. And the MD1, I put it on a really steep hyzer and up high, and you see it flip up flat, 
have quite a bit of movement up in the air and then finish down left at about 370. Whereas the hex, which is also what we've seen, has a bit more stability, which may make it just feel a bit more um, reliable. Um, but I threw it on hyzer, pretty steep 45 degree angle, and you see it just flip up straight and then carry forward for quite a long ways. That was also 370. Whereas the buzz on this hyzer, pretty steep hyzer, um, the ESP plastic at least, did flip up straight a little. I think it had about this much of an angle. And there was a slight right to left, um, and it gave it just enough exposure to the flight plate for the wind to carry under it and then carry it to about 390 out there on the left. But overall, I do think the MD1s, they're straight and they don't have a crazy amount of turn um, like the Origin would or maybe a Tarsus or some other things like that. Whereas the Hex is a bit more stable and I think if you liked throwing mid-ranges out in the open then the Hex or the MD1 or the MD3 would be the one I would throw out in open shots because I don't want to risk giving it too much and flipping it over. I think for anything over 315 this would require a lot more angle control but the Hex can make up for something like that. It's a bit more stable and has a great amount of glide and a really reliable flip up. It's not You're not too worried it's going to flip over and the buzz, at least the CSP one, was just a bit odd to me that it's flippy enough to flip up flat, but not enough to carry straight and not want to hyzer out aggressively. Those are my overall thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys have thought of throwing different straight mid ranges like this. And uh, thanks for watching.